Uh, yo, it's me again for the first time in like three months. I know I've posted like some small challenges and stuff, but that doesn't really qualify as real content. So I'm finally back with another real video. If you watched my previous video on my return, I slightly explained my absence and promise a new video soon, which obviously is this video. I don't want a super long intro, but I am going to say just a couple of things. First of all, I'm finally on Twitter. I haven't really said much there, but if you'd follow me on my Twitter, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to start having people help me with videos ideas and do giveaways and some fun stuff like that, so it's probably worth following. I'm going to do a Discord Nitro giveaway at 100 followers on there, so if you want the chance of getting Nitro, follow my Twitter. Also, me and the rest of the gang have made a Discord server. It's been up for a while now, but I completely forgot to announce it in the last video, but here we go, I'm announcing it now, so... If you want to interact with me and the rest of the gang, or just join a community and make new friends, this is the place for you. The link will be in the description. With all that being said, let's hop into my first ever episode of GD News. First up, we have one of the biggest pieces of news in this entire video, and that is the Abyss of Darkness verification. If you didn't know, Cursed verified AOD on April 3rd in around 53,000 attempts. Curse claims this level to be top 1, stating that it should be placed above Slaughterhouse. This is a massive achievement for Curse and anybody in general, so massive GG's to him. Also, this has to be one of the best reactions in GD history. On the topic of AOD, Dill's Thick, the previous verifier, seems to have returned to the level, getting 91% on 240 FPS, which is pretty cool. Dill's achieved this record on the old version of AOD, so I don't know if this is considered official or not, but nonetheless it's a massive achievement, so congratulations to Dill's also. On the topic of hard levels being verified, we have Shiketsu, verified by Beiru. Beiru states that this level is easier than Truefet and harder than Kinos, which obviously shows the true difficulty of this level. This level looks really cool, and it's awesome to see a top 10 that isn't just a bunch of red impossible waves and straight fly. This level looks sick, and I'm really excited that it's verified as I've had my eye on the level for quite a while. GG to Beiru as this is a massive achievement. Another verification I have for you is Quantum Dynamics by Riot and more. Quantum Dynamics is the official sequel to Quantum Processing, a redecorated and ultra buffed version of Blast Processing. As I'm sure you can tell by the name, Quantum Dynamics is the same deal as Quantum Processing, just with Electrodynamics. This level was verified by skilled player Sergia, and it's a pretty sick looking level. Sergia didn't give any insight on where they think the level will be placed, but hopefully we will find out soon enough. GG to Sergia for completing this beast of a level. For the final verification we're talking about here is Arctic Twice. Arctic Twice is exactly what it sounds like, which is Arctic Lights two times in a row. This incredible challenge was verified by Xenity, so I want to give a huge GD to him, as beating a top 40 twice in a row is an incredible feat. I Arctic twice. I just beat Arctic Lights twice in a row. I just beat Arctic Lights twice in a row. Sukup and Circles had its third victor being Doggy. Sukup and Circles is the second hardest level in the game right now, so this is an incredibly impressive achievement, and GG to Doggy for this. Staying on topic of victors of the top threes, we have Lord Vadercraft becoming the 13th victor of our number 3 demon Firework. Vader spending over 250,000 attempts on this beast of a level, so GG to him also. Finally, our top 1 demon Slaughterhouse had its second victor being Zoin. This is an insane feat, so GG to him also. If you guys watched my original video on upcoming levels harder than Slaughterhouse, you might recall that I talked about a level called Acuron. Acuron is a level in the Tartarus Bloodline by Raya and more. This level is of incredible difficulty, and Wolves was the verifier. In the last couple of months, it seemed like the Acheron verification was just on the horizon, with Wolves having a 92% fail twice. Recently, Wolves got a devastating 96% fail, and he ended up announcing on Twitter his dropping of the level for good. It seems as there are two new possible verifiers, being Thunder and Beiru. Thunder has a record of 38%, and Beiru has a record of 49 to 100. It's unfortunate that Wolves dropped the level as he spent so much time and effort into verifying, but as stated by Wolves in the tweet, a contributing factor was his mental health, so it's for the best. Good luck to Thunder and Beiru on this verification, and more importantly, good luck to Wolves in his recovery. Famous GD YouTuber and streamer Guitar Hero Styles went under fire in the last couple of months due to sexual harassment and other very serious allegations. Guitar has pretty much ignored all of these allegations and continues to upload to YouTube just like nothing has happened. People all over the GD community, and even people outside of the GD community, have been pushing to get his account banned on YouTube and Twitch. As his YouTube account is still up, his Twitch account was terminated today, making this a huge victory for us. Hopefully we can see his YouTube channel taken down soon as well. 
Grief, the official sequel to Ice Cave's famous level Slaughterhouse, had its layout showcase today, and it looks really awesome. Instead of having gameplay similar to the Slaughterhouse on the Demons list, it's a slightly possible version and extension of his old impossible level Slaughterhouse from 7 years ago. This looks really awesome, and I'm really excited to see what the decoration is going to look like. This level is set to be verified by Doggy, and damn, good luck to him. This level looks absolutely outrageous in difficulty, way harder than the likes of Slaughterhouse and Sakupin Circles. I also really love the song to this level, which makes me much more partial to it, but wow, I really love this layout, and I'm very excited to see where it goes in the future. Kyuki, if that's even how you say it, is an upcoming Top 5 Solo Extreme Demon showcased super recently. This level has really flown under the radar, and I really don't see how. This level looks absolutely stunning, and it's awesome to see a top 5 that isn't just a shitty health themed level that gets 70% of its difficulty from straight fly. I couldn't find who the verifier is set to be or much information at all, but the level is finished, and I genuinely can't wait to see the level verified. This is definitely my favorite upcoming top 5, and I hope we can see the verification starting soon. Quo, or, or however the hell you pronounce this level, is a collab by Viper and more. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know much about this level at all, but I can say that it looks absolutely incredible, and it's set to be verified by the one and only Aeon Air. I don't know when the verification is supposed to start, but I'm definitely going to be keeping tabs on it because it looks absolutely sick. I'm not going to go into super deep detail about this, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Heliopolis, a level I talked about in my upcoming Levels Harder Than Slaughterhouse video, finally had its layout showcased and released. The thing that makes this level so unique is how the timings are built. Timings are designed to be done only on 60Hz, and anything above that makes the level even harder than it already is. This level is evil, and I think it will definitely place number one when it's done, but until then, we're just gonna have to wait. Finally, we have Waterfall by Cherry Team. If you didn't know, Waterfall is an upcoming extreme demon, and is also the official sequel to Firework. I really like this level so far, even though not much decoration has been shown. I do have my complaints though, as I think the decoration and the layout is sick, I just don't think this looks like a Firework sequel. The gameplay doesn't really resemble Firework, nor does the song. Regardless of my opinion though, I still think this level is really cool and I'm really excited to see what comes next of it. That's the end. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately and I promise to do better and bring you guys quality content much more frequently. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as we're super close to 500 subs. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter and join the Discord server, both of which will be in the description below. Thanks for being patient with me in my absence, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.